Have you truly no recollection of the events that landed you in a cell? My mind is blank, save for the glint of a silver object, the toll of a bell, and a presence of some sort. A glint of silver and a tolling bell. I must say, you look very tired. Yes. I'm so very, very tired. Now you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? Now I'm going to do a little job of work for you. You've cost me a bit of money, mate. So I think it's only fair that you replenish my coffers with donations from the good people of London. You will steal money for me, won't you? Yes. I will steal money for you. Good, very good. Now, we can't have criminals like you roaming the streets. You will surrender to the police, won't you? Yes, I will surrender to the police. Oh, and when you do, you're going to do a silly little dance for them. I say, you gave me a terrible fright, muttering about a man named Ezio. I was hypnotized by Enzio Capelli, not a demon after all. Nor Italian, for that matter. I suspected hypnotism from the very start. You must find the villain. Out a girl. Sacked his house, aren't you? Yes. I'm going to stand watch while you ransack this house. You're going to obey the bell, aren't you? Yes. I'm going to obey the bell.
We are looking See that for I'm not money. disturbed! <laughs> Mr. Capelli says I won't remember this when I'm finished. No you. noise. I admit just it. Walk. I'm not Italian. It was just for my act. Nobody wanted to see a British hypnotist. I don't care. I'll give you anything you want. I would like you to be quiet. Are you a contemporary of Dr. Elliotson? Never heard of the man. Mesmerism as a criminal enterprise was not a bright idea. How dare you? I'm a hypnotist. You will make reparations for your crimes and liberate the innocence you've used. <laughs> 